big oh. jerk. This is all your hey, fault. Hey, get her off hey, of me, stop. all right? Stop. Ow. How'd that feel? Ned or Noah or whatever your name is today? Fancy enough. No, okay. back off, Ethan. You are a nightmare. This whole thing is your fault. You're the one who got me involved with those thugs from Las Vegas. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey. What thugs? You're the one who's a trouble magnet, all right? You are the bad guy here, not me. No, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop whoa. it. Stop this right now. Nobody talks to me like that. Ow! Get her off, Fancy. Come on. That's enough. What are you doing? It's not nearly enough. I'll kill him. Wait, wait, we don't condone violence in harmony, OK? Not especially not in the middle of the police precinct. We have the right to charge her with assault, even though she is Alistair Crane's granddaughter. Yeah, I get your message. No, I don't want to press charges. You don't dare. Or maybe I will. I'd love to see you spend a month or two inside of a jail cell. Could get that little rat dog of yours a matching jumpsuit. I'm not the one who deserves to go to jail. No, I won't press charges. I don't want to waste my time. <sighs> Bad news. Looks like Beth escaped from Harmony with Marty for sure. No doubt with Alistair's help and Luis has left town to search for him. Why does everyone blame my grandfather for everything? He's a sweet pie. Oh, maybe someday you'll wise up to a lot of things, young lady. Whatever. Listen, I'm going to go meet Gwen at the cottage, OK? I think she needs our help. Tell her praying for him, OK? You said something earlier about Noah getting involved with some thugs in Las Vegas. Yes, she fobbed me off earlier. What happened? It's no big deal, Dad. We overstayed our welcome at a hotel. What does that mean? It's nothing to worry about. Right, Fancy? Out with it. What happened in Vegas? It's like I said. We overstayed our welcome at a hotel. That's all. Over and done with. <laughs> Don't listen to her. She exaggerates everything. I think she's prone to hysteria. Hysterical? Me? Well, he's got you there, Fancy. When she was five, she used to throw these screaming fits whenever her maid tried to comb the tangles out of her hair. I had to threaten to shave it off with a razor. That shut you up. And you wonder why I never come home. So you two aren't talking? <sighs> well, I guess what happened in Vegas stays in Vegas. Don't worry, Sam. I'm sure whatever happened, Fancy will tell me eventually. Avi, I appreciate you coming down to Bellis out. Well, it's my pleasure, Sam, really. And it was sort of karmic justice that we used the money that Alistair gave Fancy to get you out. I don't know why, but he has always had a soft spot.